so this is Mafia 3. This is a GTA style game. It's an open sandbox game. But uh, it is set in Mafia times. It takes place in a fictionalized version of the American South in 1968. We sought to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place, including depictions of racism. We find the racist beliefs, language, and behaviors of some characters in the game abhorrent, but believe it is vital to include these depictions in order to tell Lincoln Clay's story. Most importantly, we feel that not to include this very real and shameful part of our past would have been offensive to millions who face and still face bigotry, discrimination, prejudice, and racism in all its forms. Hangar 13. Okay, so the music. 2K presents a Hangar 13 production. I'm glad I got subtitles up. What he was willing to do? Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. You all know. Safety. Family oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This is the city survived the war of 1812. The Civil War and God knows how many hard games. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Well, apparently a Lincoln Clay's a bit of a badass. Mafia 3. The third mafia. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. Mother, I heard she was Dominican. Father James Ballard, Father parish Father priest, Father. retired. Maybe not, not that it matters. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until. 1958. When did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. John Donovan, paramilitary operations officer. And the the mix of real footage and uh, and game footage is is kind of nice. It, it makes as well. Animation is uh, super nice. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options. I will say this is a different type of game for first the impressions than I usually do. Uh, I usually would do a uh, kind of indie title usually for this, but this is a this is a small independent studio. Uh, Hangar 13, and uh, and and their publisher 2K Games. I don't know if I've anybody anybody's ever heard of them before. Uh, clearly, uh, the studio has uh, has got some talent because the the graphics here are are fantastic. <laughs> N not the uh, Russian mob, or the Guadalajaran mob, or or even the Pokemon mob. <sighs> New Bordeaux, February 27th, 1968. I don't know what state is L.A., because it's not... Not Los Angeles, obviously. Craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Use real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. It's like in New Orleans somewhere, where New Orleans is. Louisiana. That's what LA is. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Watch your mouth. All right, pick up the keys. Oh, look, my DLC is <laughs> is installed. Uh, that's cool. Pick up the keys. Well, the keys are over there. 
I am Lincoln Clay. Big dude. Got some shoulders on him. Oh shit. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mean to shoot up the place, thank you. I'm I'm trying to figure out how to open the door. Oh look, I can carry a body. That's not what I wanted to pick up. Oh, oh, he's he's super dead. All right, well that's that's cool. Cool. Can I can I shut this door or? Nope, nope, no shutting the door. Oh good, I get to drive. Get in the armored truck. How do I how do I get in the armored truck when I can't get past? the armored truck. Oh well that's that's my cover button, not not a jump. Alright, well Oh good, here's a door. That's that's good. It's got a door symbol on it. Shut shut up, Giorgio. I am trying to figure out the controls. Alright, I'm driving the the big old state bank truck. I think it's flooded! All right. Well, how do I? Oh, wait a second. Uh, uh, journal options. No. Uh, no. I don't want control settings. I don't. I wanna. I wanna turn off the music. Game. Uh, no. Nope, no. Nope, this is none of that is doing that. Uh, assets. A kill list. That sounds good. He seems like a friendly guy. Uh, okay. I just. What's the presets? Oh, here's all the controller things. R2 is fire. R1 is. Uh, in vehicle. Let's see. How do you turn off the radio? <laughs> okay, right button. Toggle. Radio. Cool, that's what I'm doing now. That's... Yeah, alright. Gotta... I like the speedometer on it, that's cool. The sign is very subtle. Yeah, okay, that's a good sign to not have crop crawling up your ass. I can barely see over this truck. Excuse me, you guys are in the way of a giant truck. Um, wait. I'm going the wrong way, clearly. I like how the sign change depending on where you're supposed to go. That's kind of nice. Oh, here's where I turn. Oh, look, the sign, like, disappeared. So in case you're not paying attention to the GPS in the lower right corner... He with me. Holy shit. Language. Well, it's, you know, 68. Jesus Christ. One day raise a cattle, Can't see the cars in front of me. This truck is too damn big. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That better than one delicious fucking pig. Excuse me, coming through. I like how uh, you can totally not adhere to traffic laws in open world games and nobody says boo to you. Like, you can run red lights and it's fine. You hit another car, 
or take down a sign, uh, and then the cops go after you. But no, you can, you can, uh, you know, blow through traffic lights, and the cops are like, oh, whatever. They seem to be in a hurry. I do, I do like the phantom traffic signs, man. That's very helpful in case you're doing too busy things to look down at the, the GPS. I even got a rearview mirror up there. Holy crap, that's cool. But here I am driving to the Federal Reserve. Uh, man, this is, seems, uh, the city seems big. Driving around Louisiana in the late 60s in a heyday of racism and crime. Uh, excuse me, large truck coming through. Get out of my way. So, uh, this is it's definitely a pretty game. As I coast down the highway and randomly hit a car. Whoops! No. So. Oh boy, a roundabout. Just what I needed. I don't like driving in a roundabout in real life. Let alone in a video game. But hey, we're going to be accurate here, so good on them for including a roundabout in the game. Oh, we're not actually part of the Federal Reserve. Imagine that. I didn't hit the brakes then. That was the game. Well, this is going to be colorful, I'm sure. Well, the game did warn us at the beginning, so. Alright, well, let's exit the vehicle. When I say something about that, that's what we make up. Alright. Enter the Federal Reserve. I'm just going to follow Georgi. Or whatever his name is. Gorgi? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Boeing crew. I'll get her on T. Georgie. You know how it is. Old country spinning around the goddamn toilet. Fuck you. All right, cool. All right, that's that's fine. Say what you need. Huh. So. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. All right. Grabbing giant bags of cash. A few at a time. Follow the guard. Do 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 do. do. Hi guys. Need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. Good. One last goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up. Sure thing, you racist bastard. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I have a feeling we're gonna have to shoot our way out. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out of the service. My cousin's been trying to get on here for a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals folded out of his ass. That's a horrible thing to have happen. That's a crock of shit, my boy. Sad day when a guy fear a white man can't get a job. They own niggas, staggers in his eye on the spot. Horrible. Alright, what do I do? Oh, we just gotta wait for this. Ew. Fuck you. 
you don't have that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. There's not very much talk for me to talk about in this game because there's so much dialogue. But uh, it plays so far like a GTA game. It's definitely <laughs> as racially sensitive as 1968 Louisiana would be. Uh, so, you know, accurate, I guess? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not that old. Okay. Can I put him in here? Can, sir, would you, sir? I, I know you're unconscious. Can you feel the heat? I, I'm, I'm gonna put this over here. All right. R three to crouch. So now we got to deal with these guards. Oh no, I have to sneeze. They'll hear me. <coughs> I sneezed. He didn't hear me because it was in a pause screen. I should have waited. Well, I'm getting shot. Maybe, oh, I should be. Oh, oh, my health. Well, let me pick up this guy and, and, and put him, put him over here with the other guy that I should have waited to attack. But I can, I have a gun. All right, good. Okay, switching weapons. Hold L1 and uh, select with the R right stick. Quick swap, just press L R L1, holster weapon. Uh, D-pad up or press uh, square in the weapons menu. Okay, so so do I have both? No, nope, holster it, cool. Still, I'm still crouched, sorry. Skeletta. Look at those sideburns. It's a big ass lock. It opened. This is why you brought me. I'm big and muscly. And I have to deal with all the racism. Well. Georgie. How are we going to get out of this? Damn it! You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. Alright, we're going to hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're going to pull this off. Yeah, because I'm a good shot. So, here we have the shooting, shooting section of the game. I'm going to come out here. We're going to choose this. No, no, come on. Choose this. Where, where, where's, where's the guy I'm supposed to be shooting at?
I do have the uh, aim assist on. Not normally this good. All right, well, who said that? Okay. I, I like the aim assist, thank you. It's very helpful. Re regroup with Georgie. Uh, hope not. Don't need people shitting bricks. Oh, gotta. I have to do a thing because I'm strong. All right. So, lock pulling. Step one. Expose the lock. Rotate L until it's in the green zone. Then press square. Step two. Pull the lock. Press square when the indicator is in the green zone. Alright. Nope. 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 There we go. Third time's a charm, yeah. Hartman machine gun. I'm gonna grab this too, but I'm gonna go with the machine gun because good lord. Oh no. Smoke grenades? I will, will I? Sammy had men all over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaners and stole a uniform. Jonathan Guire, Assistant Director, Criminal Enterprise Branch, FBI, sixty-six to six ninety-nine. Senator at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the Black Mob. The Black Mob. February 20th, one week before Mardi Gras. So I guess I got out, but that would have been a cool sequence to have played. Here I am in my... You just come from Vietnam? Civvies, I guess. That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People Animation's here, they nice. They don't get it. You never will. <laughs> Solid. Keep your ass out of the trouble. Sure. Thanks, random white dude. Well, friendly relatives. Be as out as the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> if somebody was telling me that, it would still be okay. Because I wouldn't be in the military. Man, everybody got everything up their ass. Medals, heads. Oh no, if this is my car and I have to drive this, I know I'm going to accidentally wreck it. Alright, come on. I'm ready to go home. Yeah, I'm probably going to bust you just for littering just now. Or for driving that car. Okay, set route. Press Options button to open the map, and then press X at your destination. Select Mission. On the map, press Square to view chapters, and use the little L, sti L stick to scroll through available objectives. Alright, well I'm going to hit Options. Uh, home fires burn. Drive to Sammy's bar. Is that the only thing on the map? Tet. Well, if you want to go anywhere here in Louisiana, uh, go to the one place that's on the map for you. 
Yay! Drive to Sammy's. That sounds like home. Excuse me, that's my car. Oh, that's a cop. No, no, it's not. Stop signs are for suckers! Man, cars break hard. I am to turn here. Yes, honk. Wow. Jeebus. Everything. Um, police awareness. If they they will attack if you commit crimes, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws within their range of awareness. Holy crap! Traffic laws! Wasn't I just saying something about that? I was. Well, I guess I'm going to stop at this stop sign then. Bye, bye, officer. Sounds like he's blue on the map. That's good to know. Like they got the money to begin with. Is that do I have a red light? Is that what's going on? I do. There's a cop up there on the corner. I gotta be careful going by him. Gotta wait for the traffic signal. No way Sal's gonna go along with that. George says he can keep his old man for five now. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco. Just selling the French wall. George's uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Somehow did not piss off the cops doing that move. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. I don't know, no. I kinda need to lay low a bit. Figure some things out. Yeah. Well, there's no cops around except the one coming up on me here, so I'm going. Excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha. No cops saw it. That's what my you have to say about your video game traffic laws. Once you get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date. Who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great ambitious. Oh god! I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Well, that's the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> Like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine. Leave me once you see her. You're gonna want to dig right at it. <laughs> Better back. She got out the guys in the house. Very colorful dialogue here. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clinton. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your pick is gonna pop right out. <laughs> well, I hope not, because uh, I definitely won't get monetized for that. Alrighty. Whoop. Nope. Whoop. Watch where you're turning there, Clark Griswold. Well, I can finally open this car up. Good lord. 90 on the highway. Whee! Man! Broke like a real car. This must be my destination. Make sure I don't open my car door into traffic. Ma'am? Well, I'm back. Well, 
<laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. <laughs> oh, it's not whiskey. I would like to make a toast. Well, there's the pastor from the opening. That the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. I like how uh, authentic and diverse this is. The accents. The culture. It's really nice. It's not very comfortable to, to watch, uh, certainly, but it's uh, it's definitely uh, authentic for the time. His voice sounds familiar. Now who wants to get shit faced? Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt. It feels really weird to be playing this after, well, I haven't played it on my channel, but after playing the Far Cry Hours of Darkness DLC where I'm battling through Nam. So, it feels like a good thing to follow it because I have just come home from Nam. Be even more interesting if it was the same character, but it's not. Because they're different companies. That's how things work. I like how there's there's Super 8 footage here. <laughs> Man, he's a big dude. I feel like that may be exploited by the mob. Hoyt. Good accents, man. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck do you want to cross down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. Yeah. <laughs> it's war. It does that to a person. Well, with Lincoln here going to bed, I say we call that the end of the first E impression of Mafia 3. Uh, clearly, very much a GTA clone, uh, as are any of these kind of open world sandbox games, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but the thing that separates uh, any of the Mafia games, because I, I played Mafia 2 when it came out, and the thing that kind of separates it from uh, the GTA games is the clear distinction of embedding it in a specific time period. Now, yeah, okay, GTA did it twice. They did it with, they did two games set in the past. They did Vice City, and I guess technically Vice City Stories, and they did the London Calling expansion for GTA 1. But uh, I specifically mean GTA games take place, all of them except Vice City and Vice City Stories and the London game all take place in modern day. Mafia is always clearly very much a takes place in the past kind of series, and that helps differentiate it from those games. And also, uh, while GTA is very specifically story driven, the Mafia games uh, seem to have a unique story arc and and real worldness to it. They're not recreating uh, a, a city in America that is named differently. These are actual places. Well, sort of. I mean, it's, it's actually Louisiana, and they've mapped that out and stuff like that. But anyway, that has been First the Impressions. I digged it. I, I, I dig the game. Um, if you did too, I hope so. Uh, and then I guess we'll see you next week 
uh, four more games I've never played and my first impressions of them. Uh, stick around uh, to my Twitter page at, at InsaneIanB. I'll be posting a poll early next week to find out what games I'll play next week. Uh, the games that I had on the poll this week that didn't make it were Just Cause 3 and Blue Estate. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Blue Estate is, which apparently it seemed like nobody did because nobody voted for it, Blue Estate is based on an image comic book. Uh, and I uh, had been reading the comic randomly. Actually, no, I take that back. I, found, I got the game on PS4 for $3 when it was on sale during one of their digital sales. And then went, okay, three bucks is cool, I'll get this, it's based on the comic. Let me read the comic first and find out what the game's like. So I finished reading the 12 issue series, what they called season one, which came out in I think 2012 or 2014 and uh, has not been back since. Uh, and it's, a, it's an interesting title. So if that's something you want to see me do, let me know on Twitter. That one will probably hit the, uh, the voting again next week. Thanks very much, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time.